knows that he doesn't yet approach 50% of the uh, projected uh, uh, vote tally. Right now, Mike Duggan is as vulnerable as an incumbent could be, and he's very fortunate to be running uh, against a guy that's generically broke in terms of uh, dollars needed to run a credible mayoral campaign, even though he has a million-dollar name, Coleman Young II. But to mainstream Coleman Young and to beat Mike Duggan, Coleman Young has to create a drum beat. But guess who's trying to create the drum beat? It's Mike Duggan. Mike Duggan is attempting to discuss systemic racism to convince us that he is the great white hope for America's blackest and poorest city. And how do you run in the face of the, 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 I mean, it's almost hypocritical to push a PR machine that says Detroit is the comeback city, when according to Tanya Allen of the Skillman Foundation, 84% of Detroit children still live in abject poverty. I ask you, is that a city on the way back? No. We gotta go to news. We'll be right back. Give us a call at 568-1200. And you know what? I interrupted you, Greg Bowens. I'm gonna let forgive oh, me. I'm sorry too. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you gotta finish that because you make okay. some strong points. 568-1200. You're listening to the Mildred Gatta Show. Geico presents a voicemail from your